Maddox is bumped from the schedule. Starts out six. Ramon Castro facing Maddox. Oh, got it upstairs and burned him. To right, Derek Lee scores. Marlins lead 3-2. Maddox allowed six runs on ten hits and six and two-thirds. Top seven, Cliff Floyd to shallow center. Andrew Jones sticks the landing, and he's got a shot for the DP. But he's back in time. That's why he's got two gold gloves. Later in the seventh, Lee at the dish with two on. To right, and Reggie Sanders has been out for a while with a strained hammy. He's a little rusty. The two-run score, Marlins lead 6-2. You know what? I think we need a replay on this one. If the ball bounces over the wall, it's a home run. It stays in there, though. Sanders gets an error, two-run error. Top eight, Jason Marquis. This is Mike Lowell, and that's a grand slam. Number 15 on the year. Marlins win 12-4. It's Chuck Smith's first big league win. He allowed two runs in five innings. Luis Castillo's ninth inning infield single, extending his hitting streak to 18. Grant Roberts making his big league debut. Top one. Andy Tracy to Derek Bell, and he takes it right in the mug. Bradley going to stop all the way at third. Bell misplays it right on the jaw. He would have to leave the game, get three stitches in his chin. And you know what? Somebody left the ball out on the warning track, and it's still lying around out there. Top one with the bases loaded. Jose Vidro goes out there, and Joe McEwen, which one? Watch out for that one. That's the fake ball. That's no ball. We want a real ball. Three run score. Expos up early, three nothing. Robert Shell for six earned runs on six hits and one and a third. Bottom eight, Scott Strickland pitching. Todd Zeal singling. Joe McEwen, they're going to wave him in. This will tie it 8-8. Zeal, 3 for 5 on Thursday. Next batter, Matt Franco facing Steve Klein. It's to center. Edgardo Alfonso scores. Franco, 3 for 4 with a couple RBIs. That's when the opener, 9-8. Grant Roberts was sent back to AAA Norfolk after the game. They needed to make room on the roster for Kurt Abbott, saying afterwards, I didn't show the real Grant Roberts, and I really well or less well. And Harris had trouble at third. Boots that, air number one. Top of second, one out, two runners on for Lenny Webster, and Harris again can't come up with it. Run scores, air number two, Mets had four errors. Harris Wood homer, though. Two runners on, Jay Payton against Hideki Arabu. Chula off the wall. Good cutoff. Bradley gets it, wings it home. Mike Mordecai's throw hits Benny Agbayani. Ball gets away. Payton comes to score. Double and two base there on Mordecai. 3 2, the Mets in front. Scary moment here for the Mets. Hampton throwing. Check out Edgardo Alfonso pointing to the outfield because, as you saw in the first game, Derek Bell had been hit. And here he is down. And he left this game complaining of some dizziness. The Mets figure him as in the day to day category. The Mets win this thing by a count of four to three. Mets get a sweep even as Mike. Straight win, bottom seven. Bobby Abreu to center. Damon Buford. Full extension. Oh, that's gorgeous. Steve Rain, two and a third innings. Perfect relief. Vicente Padilla on in the ninth. Just over from the Diamondbacks. Eric Young, Alex Arias gets the out at second, but Brant Brown takes him out, forcing the bad throw. Young is safe at first. Brown's play, keying a big inning. Next batter, Ricky Gutierrez. Drives Padilla to right center. Kevin Sefcik is not the normal center fielder, and we just saw why. The Young scores triple for Gutierrez, and the Cubs win 4 1. They have won six in a row. Rick Aguilera worked the ninth, his 23rd save and 30 chances. Said Don Baylor, everything is clicking right now. He's right. Tough one for Benji Molina. Ray Durham trying to rip off second. And not a problem when Molina conks his pitcher with the baseball, thrown back. So Brian Cooper try to get out of the way. Jose Valentin on first. He's racing. Molina's throw. Low, not good into center field. Valentin going to go to third. We're in the fourth. White Sox up 3 0. One out. Brooke Fordyce up. Going to right. Either hits the wall or a fan. To the fan, it ought to maybe a ground rule double or something at that point. Tim Salmon believes the fan interfered. Look again, the fan did appear to reach over the wall off his wrist. It's a triple, as it turns out. White Sox get a break. Bad fan, bad fan. He's told to get away. Next better, Ray Durham. And Molina still having some issues. Fordyce scores. White Sox up 4 0. And in the sixth, Frank Thomas diving back in. Appears to have twisted his knee and. Appeared that way the trainers, they yank him out of the game. Going to be evaluated.
on Friday. Carlos Lewis, four for five in this third four hit game of the year. Tying Thursday, three games up on the A's for the AL West lead. Bottom third, Ricky. Fouls one off, but you know what? Lupinel has a problem. A power problem. Dude, the lights are out. Up there. The. This after Saturday when the roof at Safeco wouldn't close, forcing a rain delay and a lot of wet fans. Thursday, play did resume after a 17-minute delay. Bottom five, Alex Rodriguez to center. This will score Ricky. RBI single for A-Rod on his 25th birthday, 2-1 Mariners. He was two for three. He's hitting 348 now. Top seven, Arthur Rose against Todd Green with the bases loaded. It is up the middle of score a pair, and the Jays retake the lead 3-2. Two. two batters later, bases full again. Jose Mesa, that's a dangerous combination. Agon, it's throw, two more score, and the Blue Jays win. Just the fourth time in the last 50 games, the Blue Jays went homerless. It's their first time they've won a homerless game since May 14th. Now, one Seattle paper says the M's are thinking over an Al Martin for Carlos Guillen trade with San Diego. Para. Facing Barry Zito with the A's up 3-2. Nomar's 14th of the year is gone. That homer put him at 395 for the season. It's tied at three. Bottom seven, Miguel Tejada facing Tim Wakefield. Come on, Darren Lewis. The A's go up 4-3. Wakefield allowed three home runs in the game. Top nine, Jason Veritek off Jason Isringhausen down the right field line. And third base coach Wendell Sendeman Kim is going to wave Bernard Gilkey all the way in from first. This time it's a good call, but Veritek continues that great Boston tradition of outstanding base running. Oh, well, the double tied it at four. Anyway, top ten, first and second, Troy O'Leary. Up the middle off Jeff Tan. Manny Alexander has to run in because he lent somebody his car again. Red Sox go up 5-4. Bottom 10, one out. They're loaded. Derek Lowe facing Adam Piott to third. Ed Spray coming home. Terrence Long is out. Red Sox still up 5-4. Two outs. They're still loaded. And Lowe. Clutch rings up Ryan Christensen. That's your ball game. Red Sox win 5-4. Lowe's 22nd save and 27 chances for the A's. Just their second loss in their last 15. Ryan Glenn. Two really to to Sunday hit. Three-run homer. Gonzalez with 14 this season. Tigers out front 3-0. Bill Hassman's up. Traded for Gonzalez. Does like him. Off of Steve Sparks. First of the year. Media pressure will be intense for his second. Seventh inning. 4-3 Rangers, C.J. Nikowski facing Graffy Palmero. And he hits it to the 18 to 24 year old target audience. Three run homer, 27 for him. Rangers win it 7-3. So Gonzalez conked a homer against his old team, but the players traded to Texas for him, combined to do more. Probably about the Dodgers and the Rocks. Third inning, Adrian Beltre's up. Bases are loaded and they're unloaded. Second career grand slam. Dodgers are out front by a count of 6-3 to three after that. We're in the fifth. Beltre again looking to break a 7-7 tie, and he did the other way. Sean Green will come and score. Dodgers up 8-7. Beltre, 6 RBI, career high. Next batter, Alex Cora against Giovanni Carrara. Big play to meet. Takes it over a wall. Three-run home run, second homer of the day. Dodgers up 11-7 in the sixth. Cora going after third dog. Listen deep to right, but not out. Conks off the wall. Todd Hundley scores. And Cora goes for career high in hits and RBI. Four hits, five RBI. And the Dodgers are winners for the seventh time in nine games. Tied a season high in runs scored. Going well early to Dan Danny Bautista. A bunch of rules and stuff. And then Jay Bell, another pitch. No, I'm all set. Luis Gonzalez. That's Wiffle ball at Kerr's Ankiel strikes out the side in the first. Now bottom of one. Jim Edmonds over at first. Geraldo Guzman facing Ray Langford. There goes Edmonds. Damian Miller's throw doesn't get there, and Edmonds is the second. Two out. Langford still the batter. And that's a bloop, but it works because the guy stole second. Edmonds comes to score. One zip the Cardinals in front. Tied at one in the fourth. Ankiel to Matt Williams. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. Nine Ks for Ankiel. After three and a third. Later in the fourth, one on. Alex Cabrera. Home run. His fourth of the season. Diamondbacks are out front by a count of three to one. In the fifth, still three to one. Danny Bautista turns and hits it over some fencing they'd set up in the outfield. Number seven for him. Arizona's out front 4-1.
Now we're in the fifth, 5-1. Like Greg Colbrun, the single to center. Luis Gonzalez scores from third. 6-1 Diamondbacks. We weren't just going to the fifth. We were already in the fifth. And kill Jank there. Struck out nine in the first 13 he faced. Then he gave up five runs against the next 10 batters. Jay Bill to J.D. Drew, newbie. Dropped the ball. Obviously had not run into the Tom Mansky defensive drills video while on the DL. And then Luis Gonzalez, he too hits it to a crowd. 20th for him. And the Diamondbacks blow him out 17 to 5. This makes no sense whatsoever, but it's working for Arizona. The Diamondbacks 11 and 3 on Thursday games. 6 3 3 game. Aramis Ramirez in third. Divin stays on his knees. Good hose across to get Jose Hernandez. Eighth inning. Still 3 3. Brian Giles going to his left. And Ron Belliard gets nothing out of the game. Still tied at three. Top of nine. The pinch hitter, Tyler Houston. Houston with a drive, well hit to right center. If you don't think to meet, you can't have any pudding. How can you have any pudding if you don't think to meet? And the homer gives the Brewers the 4 3 win, and with that, Matt Vaskersian will be forced to than the fastball. That's a base hit. Denny Hawking scores. Guzman, three RBI in this one. Coney already in a 1 0 hole. Still bottom one. Ron Coomer trying to knock in Guzman here. And that's going to get through and do it. Cohen allowed three runs in the first. Top five. Mark Redman facing relatively new guy, David Justice. Say hello to my little friend. 423 feet, a two-run shot is 27th on the year and sixth home run as a Yankee. New York within three, five, two. Bottom six, Hawking against Cone, double. It'll score Jack Jones, one of four hits for Hawking Thursday, and Cone was yanked after allowing a season high eight runs, nine hits, five walks. Twins win 9 3. Cone loses his career worst eighth straight decision. He's 3 and 15 in 32 starts since the perfect game. Royals first to four in KC, top two, Miguel Cairo. And then on second and third, Jermaine Dye is under it. Felix Martinez fakes the tag and Dye's throw, fakes out. Greg's on. The two run scores five on Tampa Bay. Dye's third error of the year. Royals had a season high four errors on Thursday. Top three, Jose Canseco. Deep to right, and Dye is into the wall. Bangs his head. Canseco has a double. Dye is down. He was carted off the field and taken to the hospital for x-rays, which revealed a mild concussion. Devil Rays win 8-5. Devil Rays bench coach Bill Russell goes 2-0 and filling in for...